I need to highlight an amazing phrase somebody left in my comments. It's good to be persistent if you can't manage consistent. <laughs> I need to unpack this in so many ways. And this video might actually get a little bit long. So I'm going to go into more detail about it in my favorite cult. There's exclusive content for members and a very cool group of people. Links in the usual spot. So firstly, I've had somewhat of this mindset most of my life. Only they phrased it in a way cooler way than I ever had. Plus it rhymes, so bonus. And this mindset has served me well. Now if you've got the sparkly brain like mine, you know that for ADHD is consistency is not our thing. It never has been our thing and it never will be our thing. Consistency feels like a prison. And I don't think a neurotypical brain is actually capable of understanding how we feel about this at all. It's not like a boohoo, I'm bored. Things can get really dark up here if you force us to do the same thing over and over again. But I'm not going into that right now. The thing I really want to talk about right now is how empowering it is to know that consistency is not your thing. How, you ask? There's a few ways. Firstly, if you're a little kid and looking around and you're seeing everybody do this thing really easily and you're struggling, that's going to be a hit to your self-esteem. Especially if you have jerk adults around you going, oh my god, why can't you just do that and you internalize that why can everyone else do that simple thing and I can't. Secondly, if you don't really know that this is not your thing, you'll work out pretty quick that you pretty much never follow through with anything. So why should I bother? I'm not gonna finish it anyway. But that's no way to live. If I know consistency is never gonna be my thing, I can strategize. Knowing that I can't be consistent if something is the same every single time and it's boring lets me know that I need multiple tools in my tool belt. So there's a sport you want to stick to, going to the gym, learning an instrument, whatever. You know that if you want to follow through, you gotta keep it interesting. You need to change it up. Going to the gym? Boring. Maybe not if I have a good audio book I'm listening to. Or is there a podcast I really like? Maybe a gym playlist. No one tool is going to work for you all the time, forever. So I need to know that I need a plan B for when plan A starts to fail. And I need a plan C for when plan B starts to fail. And a plan D, E, F, and G. And rotate between them. If you want more pro tips like this, check out my favorite cult. You can chat with me and others like you in Discord and follow me for more ADHD hacks. Don't give up on yourself. You are worth the effort.